You are an intelligent, knowledgeable, and competent person. But sometimes you find yourself in speaking situations where you're simply not able to smoothly, clearly, and confidently articulate your thoughts. Why does this happen and is there anything you can do about it? Well, my name is Michael Williams, founder of Pro90D, and today I want to invite you to a five-day mental mastery course where we're going to talk specifically, I'm going to have you do some exercise specifically to help you deal with this situation and many, many, many more. So, let's describe a scenario that you may find yourself in. Again, you're intelligent, you're competent, you're knowledgeable, you know what you're talking about, but you're in a meeting, you're in an interview, right? You're in a speaking situation where you know what you want to say, but for some reason you're simply not able to verbally articulate, to verbally communicate that the way that you would like. So what, what is going on? Why does that happen? Well, let me explain it to you like this. You're probably watching this on a computer, right? A laptop, a desktop, or a mobile device, right? And you've opened up an application in order to watch this video, right? So there's an application. But what's running that application? Well, programming, code, right? scripts, it's running it. And that code is beneath the surface. And it's, there's a lot of it, usually. Like, we don't usually see that unless you're a programmer. What we do see is we see how that code is reflected in that application, the performance. We're able to do the things that we need to do. When that code is not operating correctly, it causes or it is, it manifests itself in bugs and stuff doesn't work the way it's supposed to. But there's a lot of code down there. So you and I operate in a very, very similar manner in that we have these scripts, these stories that we're telling ourselves that operate like code beneath the surface, it's unconscious. But the way it manifests itself is in how you and I feel and how we think and our attitudes and our beliefs, which are also beneath the surface, and how we perform, how we speak. So even before you go into certain speaking situations like a certain meetings, if there's uh, senior leadership there, or an interview, or presentation, or whatever, you may start telling yourself these stories like, oh, the last time I didn't perform too well, I didn't speak too well, or I got a little nervous, or I jumbled up my words and my thoughts. It just didn't come out the way that I wanted it to. I used a whole bunch of ums and ahs and likes and stuff. So you start telling yourself this story before you even get into the speaking situation, or you're in there, and you know what you want to say, but all of a sudden you start getting cloudy, you start stammering or stuttering or blocking or speaking too fast or, or running out of air. Whatever the situation is, you're simply not able to smoothly, clearly, and confidently articulate your thoughts. So one of the reasons that that happens is because of the script that's running beneath the surface, the programming, the stories that you've been telling yourself. Well, you're probably saying, well, Michael, what do you mean by stories that I'm telling myself. Well, for example, if you tell yourself, you know what, in meetings where there's leaders there, management, supervisors, senior leaders, I tend not to speak to, I tend to feel a little more self-conscious, I tend to feel more anxious and nervous, and so I'm often not able to say what I want to say as clearly as I'd like to say it as smoothly as I'd like to say it, right? So this is a story that you're telling yourself. Where did the story come from? Well, it may have come from an experience that you had previously where you didn't perform as well as you would like. So because of that experience, you now project into the future that, ooh, whenever I'm in a meeting and there's certain people there or there's a certain number of people there, I tend not to communicate as well as I would like. So not only is that experience determined the story that you told yourself, but the stories or the story that you told yourself is now impacting, it's determining how you perform in the future. So it's very, very important to get a hold of what the stories are that you and I tell ourselves about any given speaking situation. We're talking meetings, we're talking interviews, we're talking presentations, we're talking certain conversations, we're even talking about 
uh, the number of people that may be present in a meeting or may be present in a presentation, right? We're even talking about the kinds of things that you're talking about in a meeting or a presentation or an interview. So we have a story, we have a script, we have code for each of these speaking situations and we need to figure out, we need to, to learn what is this story? What are the stories that I'm telling myself? So in this five-day mental mastery course, you and I are going to look at what are the stories that you're telling yourself. Okay. We're also going to look at we are going to look at how these stories, how are these stories affecting your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and actions, how you speak, right? How are they affecting? Are they helping you or are they hurting you? Because all stories that we tell ourselves are obviously not all negative, right? Some are very positive. <clears throat> but for many of us, it's negative. So how are they affecting your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and actions? We're going to look at how are these stories affecting your performance? That is how you communicate. So we have stories about every area of our life. We're going to focus in, we're going to zoom in on communication, on speech. So specifically, how are these stories affecting your performance in terms of your speech? That's what we're going to look at. So each day, you're going to receive an email with a link to an exercise. On that exercise will be a little short video, kind of explaining the exercise with the background. And then you're going to need to do the exercise. If you just watch the video, that's not really going to help you much. You have to do the exercise so we can get down at what the stories are. I'm going to be helping you create new stories for each of your speaking situations. The ones that are important for you. And then we're going to have certain actions that I'm going to have you take. And I'm going to explain each one of those on a separate day and have you perform those actions. S stuff that's very, very simple. So you're going to perform those actions, which is going to help to imprint, to solidify the new story that you've created for yourself. Okay. So this is kind of a, a first step into transforming your speech, into your ability to more smoothly, clearly, and confidently articulate your thoughts. And obviously you know that this is important because you're intelligent, you're knowledgeable, you're skilled, you're competent. But people won't know that if you're not able to communicate that, if you're not able to articulate that. And so there are so many people out there who are far more qualified, who would be much better at certain jobs, certain positions, who would do much better in their career if they were able to communicate better, verbally communicate better. But because of speaking too fast, poor communication skills, or stuttering or stammering, right? They simply don't move up as quickly or as much as they deserve, as they could, as they want to. So this course is designed to help you take that first step to identify the stories that you've been telling yourself, the coding, the programming, and to help you create a new story, new coding, new programming, and then imprint that new coding in your mind. Program it in, lock it in, so that now you're telling yourself a new story, a more constructive, a more positive story that affects how you think as you come up to an interview, as you go into a meeting, how you think and feel while you're in the meeting, and how you actually speak when you're in that meeting. Does that make sense? So this is a first step. So I want to invite you to go ahead and click the button in or around this video. This is a free course. It's a free course, but it's an interactive course. So you have to do the work to get the results. So click the button, take the course, do the work, and experience the results. Once again, my name is Michael Williams. Thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you inside this free course.